I want to talk about Helix, the text editor Helix. I switched to it from NeoVim a few months ago, and I, I've been using it full time at work and on side projects. And I want to talk about um, the pros, the cons, like should you switch, um, everything. So there's three main things I think that uh, separate it from other modal editors like NeoVim or Kakaoon or um, which it was inspired by, or VS Code, um, and they are uh, easy multi-cursor modal editing, right? So like in Vim, I mean Kakaoon has this too, but or Kakaoon uh, in in NeoVim, uh, in order to do multi-cursor editing, it you either need a plugin classic NeoVim, or you uh, you have to do a regular expression search and change things with like a, a macro or, or something. It's really complicated. In Helix, it's just um, select your lines, uh, press S, choose what you would like, type in what you want to change, enter, and now you're just using the editor as always, just with multiple cursors. So it's much easier. It's much, much easier. Uh, the next thing that Helix has that separates it from NeoVim specifically uh, is built-in language server protocol support, so that you don't need a plugin uh, for or and the debug adapter protocol too, and tree sitter. You don't need a plugin for um, all this stuff. It just comes with the editor, uh, which is really great. All you have to do is have your LSP on your path. Um, you have to just run hx uh, fetch or something and hx build to build all the tree sitter uh, files and you're off and running. There's no configuration really at all. That brings me to my next part, zero config. So this is an actual config in Toml from Helix's website, right? You can see that there's really, there's really nothing like happening. Oh, there it is. There's really nothing like going on here, right? There's a few lines and unlike NeoVim and Lua, you won't have you know, millions of lines, uh, or like not millions, but like th you won't have hundreds of lines in your config just to get basic modern text editing features like the LSP stuff or all this, all this other stuff. All right. So, uh, I want to, I want to address the haters real fast, uh, because I think, um, there's a lot of people in the NeoVim camp specifically that, they think that NeoVim is the only and last and final editor that you should ever use. Uh, they think the key bindings are like the best ever. They make the most sense. No other modal editing key bindings should exist. Um, yeah, I, I think you should ignore those people because um, they have a lot of weird like hangups about why Vim is better other okay so like here here are three actual reasons about why they would say Vim is better one um they would say Vim is everywhere right so you SSH into a server it's already installed you know the key bindings and that is true that is true I will say that but it's not like you can bring your NeoVim config with you and it's not like you can't if you own the server like you're SSHing into the server you can install Helix on that server. So it's not like it's not like it's like it's one more step and then you only have to do it one time and now you have Helix working too. So so you can't take your NeoVim config with you and you can't you can install Helix too. So I mean the whole Vim is everywhere key bindings thing is interesting and like not a really good argument. Um the other thing is that uh they they might say is that uh you know the Vim key bindings are more efficient, right? Like so it's it's DW instead of WD, right? Uh, to delete a word. Um, and there's other things like uh, when you install this uh, surround plugin, which Helix already has installed, you would do like C for change and then S for surround. And then you would do, uh, you know, parentheses, right? Well, in Helix, you would just do M uh, for match, uh, I for um, inside, and then a uh, parenthesis, right? So it's it's almost the same. Uh, there's a few that are like two or three keystrokes longer than Vim, but that's not really that's not really like a deal breaker, right? I mean, who cares if you have to press two extra keys? <clears throat> so um, you know, it's like should you switch? But I do I do think you should switch. I think you should switch. Uh, 
I over everything. It's you know, it's written in Rust. It's fast. It's faster for my computer than NeoVim. Um, I think it's I think it's worth it. All right, so this is a quick one. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I hate I hate I hate saying this. All right, all right. That that's the end of the video. That's it.